Hello guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for following me. I hope uh, you enjoy my videos. Today I'm in Harrisburg at Superfly Bonsai and I will be working this beautiful Engelman spruce. Engelman spruce is one of the basically eight species of spruce uh, we can find here in uh, US and in my opinion together with the Colorado blue spruce is one of the best. Actually sometimes uh, in nature they also cross uh, by itself. They still both have this kind of a nice bluish color but the Engelmer spruce has a little bit more softer foliage. This is a very beautiful tree that uh, my friend Andy got from Nature's Way uh, two years ago and actually the first thing we did uh, two years ago was repotting the tree and bringing the tree up. Originally the tree was falling down. This was an old root that was uh, probably removed when the tree was collected and the tree had uh, a very good uh, root ball. So we tilled the tree up to highlight uh, the trunk line and then uh, we let the tree grow two years. We use a mix uh, of uh, 111, Akadama pomace uh, and uh, lava rock and uh, remember always that spruces uh, love uh, to be a little bit uh, moister along the day. Don't allow spruces uh, soil to dry out otherwise they suffer. We are in spring now, perfect time to work on this tree. So the first thing I did uh, was uh, to clean the dead wood uh, and uh, create the gin. This was the first important operation to have the basic uh, idea of uh, which one could be the best trunk line and the best front uh, to work on the tree. Basically, uh, cleaning the dead wood uh, and analyzing the trunk line, I have three options. One is this one here where you see the tree now one is from the left corner and actually I have also an option from the back. There is a good transition between the trunk line and uh, the gene, the natural one plus the gene I just did this, this morning. And then on the top of the tree I have a big branch uh, that I would like to use uh, to compact the tree. I don't want to eliminate that branch uh, and uh, only create a tree with few little branches because I have a nice and massive trunk so my goal is to squish the green of the tree together in order to create a nice and compact shape for the future bonsai. So I keep open my tree options and now what I'm gonna do I will put the raffia on that branch, bend the branch down and then we're gonna see the tree again and again analyze the trunk. I'd love to use uh, this front uh, as the main front of the tree because I have the better transition of the trunk and using the top branch uh, be able to hide a little bit uh, the straight part uh, of the upper section of the trunk to highlight the lower part. So let's start with the raffia and uh, let's begin the tough work. I protect uh, the section I'm planning to bend uh, down in this position to have all this green uh, in the lower section of the trunk. I have uh, to put uh, and connect uh, a big piece of wire between uh, the lateral branch I have. 
So my goal is to have two pieces of wire clockwise on this branch, and so I will connect them with these other two branches that will go counterclockwise. So I can use, after all, this one to rebuild the apex, and this one will be a nice back branch, eventually, when I decide to use this front, if my band goes well. So I just finished uh, putting the structural wire in the primary structure of the tree, so connecting this back branch with this one, and then again this one, we double up the wire here and out. Plus I had also some wire on the secondary branches already. As you can see I haven't done uh, any basic cleaning uh, of the tree. Uh, I want to first put in position the structure and then I will start uh, fine wiring, uh, cleaning, uh, and padding up uh, the tree from the lower branches uh, to the top. But my priority now is do this band. So the next operation will be create an anchor point here to here and then start uh, bending down this branch uh, to create uh, the movement uh, of this entire section in the lower position of the trunk uh, to create a nice first pad. So with the help of Andy, we just finished uh, the first band uh, for this branch. We was able to create a nice curvy line here to have a nice transition from uh, the trunk line to this actual big band, that uh, big branch uh, that actually was the top of the tree. Uh, in this period of the year, the tree is very flexible. I want to keep a lot of foliage to keep the energy of the tree up. That's the, another reason I'm not doing uh, extremely hard pruning on the tree. Now that the branch is more or less in position, the next step will be transition this section from this position down there. So we're going to create a twist by putting another guy wire in this section, in a lower part of the tree, and then be able to twist this branch down. So the goal is uh, go down and maybe open all the structure to create a nice first branch. So let's set the other anchor point for the second bending. just finish uh, to do the transition of the branch uh, so the primary structure was bent uh, and then uh, the secondary structure down and inside uh, to create to create uh, a nice transition down uh, to the, for this branch to become the first branch of the tree that actually is also the thicker and stronger branch and you can see already how bringing the top green down uh, will really focus all the attention to the beautiful trunk. So I'm pretty confident uh, now that uh, the band was uh, successfully done, uh, that I can use uh, more or less this as a front. I have a beautiful movement here. I will start the padding uh, out uh, 
these branches creating uh, the first lower pad and then uh, the next work will be bringing this branch towards the front uh, to create uh, the top of the tree and we already have a nice back branch that I will uh, use uh, to frame uh, and basically create a nice background for all these uh, beautiful uh, chin and that. I just finished the lower section of uh, the pads, framing uh, nicely the beautiful trunk line we have uh, here and obviously also framing the central part uh, of uh, the trunk uh, with this beautiful transition and start a little bit covering up uh, the intermediate section that is a little bit the problematic one. That was the reason why we bent down extremely this branch. So now the next operation, I will remove this kind of a safety branch I left uh, in case something went wrong with the band. Uh, gin it and then I will finish wiring the top and then bend it over to recreate uh, a nice canopy, nice apex uh, you know, as uh, a natural prosecution of the left and right line of the branches.
And here we are with the final uh, result uh, after finishing up uh, the apex, uh, trying to give uh, this uh, nice uh, uh, apical taper as uh, it is uh, typical for an old uh, spruce. Uh, we don't create uh, the same uh, uh, very compressed uh, apex uh, on a spruce as we do for a pine. We want to still uh, keep uh, its natural look, uh, even if bending down the uh, goal of this work was to put in evidence all the nice uh, and beautiful details uh, in the lower part of the trunk, uh, the old gene, uh, this gene that probably uh, will be a little bit reduced in the future, uh, the beautiful shard in the center twisting up. I kept uh, as much as foliage as possible, I want the tree to be strong, uh, I try to wire very uh, nicely to not uh, uh, damage uh, the new shooting uh, that are just popping out uh, now and uh, I will let the tree grow free all the season, reset the strength, uh, set the new position of the structure and in one year we could do a little bit more work uh, and a little bit more refining. Thank you so much for watching this video, see you at the next.